A very important piece of equipment to have in any darkroom is your safe light. The safe light allows you to work with photographic paper and still be able to see what you're doing without actually exposing the paper to light. And the reason that happens is because photographic paper does not react to red light. So in my darkroom here, I've got a safe light, but how do I know that that safe light over time is not going to fog my paper? It could be if the safe light is too bright, or if the safe light is not a pure red color, maybe it's actually more of a purplish tint, that could potentially fog the paper. So how do I know? I need to test it. And the way we test our safe light is pretty straightforward. So the first thing we're gonna do, we can't do this in, uh, in normal room light, so the first thing we're gonna do is click, we're gonna turn off the room lights. So our room lights are off, and yeah, I know they're not, but uh, for our purposes, and just so you can see what I'm doing, just imagine that it is pitch black in here. Uh, there's, uh, I can't see anything that's happening. It is totally dark in my, uh, in my dark room. Okay, so in the darkness, I'm gonna reach over and I'm gonna grab a piece of photographic paper and pull it out of its protective envelope. And in the darkness, I'm going to lay that down onto the uh, countertop in front of me. And this would be, I'd be testing this in the work area. So maybe my enlarger or wherever it is, I'm gonna be working with photographic paper. Okay, so I lay that down and then I'm gonna take some cardstock and I'm gonna cover up most, but not all of that paper. I'm gonna leave the first couple centimeters of the uh, photographic paper exposed. Now, I wanna make sure that this edge is held down. I don't want light leaking underneath it. So I'm gonna take, a, in this case, I got a piece of wood and I'm gonna lay that down just to hold that edge flat. You could use anything for that purpose. Okay, so uh, we've set this up in darkness. Now we're gonna turn the safe light on. Okay, room lights stay off, but the safe light comes on now. So now in the red light, I can see my photographic paper peeking out from underneath the card. And uh, I'm gonna time this for five minutes and just let that sit and expose to light for five minutes. At the end of five minutes, I'm gonna grab that cardstock and I'm gonna slide it over another two, three centimeters. And I'm gonna let it sit for five minutes. At the end of five minutes, I'm gonna slide it over another two, three centimeters and let it sit for five minutes. So what's happening is cumulatively, this paper is being exposed. So this part has been sitting here the whole time. This is exposed for, for a total of 15 minutes. The uh, spot next to it has been exposed for five, or sorry, for 10, and the spot next to that has been exposed for five. When I shift it over another time, now this part's been exposed for 20, 15, 10, and five. At the end of five minutes, I slide it over, and this process will repeat until I've used up the whole piece of photographic paper. And with, uh, the paper being exposed in five minute strips. So once the whole paper has been completely exposed from one end to another, I'm going to take the paper quickly, drop it into my uh, developer, fixer, and stop bath, and then rinse. And once the paper is rinsed, I'm gonna put it on the table in front of me, and I can turn the room lights on. And then I'm going to examine my paper very carefully. And if I'm seeing what I'm seeing now, it's pure white from end to end, we're good to go. That means, uh, let's say that uh, this paper has been scanned and been uh, exposed in five, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30 minutes. So that means my paper will not fog in up to 30 minutes. But if I'm, oh, let's say down around uh, the 10 minute mark, I'm starting to see that everything from 10 minutes and beyond is starting to get just ever so slightly gray and progressively grayer as you move over towards the edge. Then I've got a problem with my safe light fogging. I need to maybe bring the brightness down or play with the, uh, the color tint 
if that's possible with your light. So, um, but if I'm seeing just pure white from end to end, then our safe light is good. And we can continue to use that uh, in our dark room without fear of fogging our paper. So I hope that helps explain how to test your safe light.